Hello, it is Alpaca Lacquer on Three Blocks. Three Blocks back again for another anime review. Today, hello, hello. Yep. Today we are doing True Tears. Uh, long story short, genre-wise, it is more of a high school slice of life with a bit of romance, uh, which is probably my personal favorite kind of genre. I love a good I would slice say of just life. A bit. Say more than a bit. Yeah, it, it is a slice of life, romance, high school. Yeah. But that that is my favorite genre anyway, so that's okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, the main character is called Shin, for short, because I can't pronounce his full name. Dimitro. Yeah. He lives with his parents and the girl he has a crush on, who is called Hiromi. However, due to his mum being a bit of a cunt, Especially to Hiromi, Hiromi and Shin have grown apart as they've got older and going into their high school year. They are a bit, they they basically just say hello to each other when they see each other, but not really friends even. Okay, I guess I'll explain why they live together because they're not related, but her dad died or something, or her family died or something like that, and her dad was a friend of Shinichi's dad or Shinichiro's dad, so. They moved in, like, during middle school or something. Yeah, it, it was the dad who died. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, that's the start. He goes to school. He's not popular, but not unpopular. He's just kind of your average guy. He's got a few friends, mainly Mio Ki Kichi. <laughs> yeah, Mio Kichi is his main, like, friend yeah. that you usually see in anime, like, Main character friend. Yeah, he he's the right wing. Fucking no, right. What's what's the word? Right hand, right arm guy. Yeah, he's sort of kind of like the bulky. sidekick. There we go. He's uh, kind of like the bulky yeah. character. So he's got a few he friends. Has he has like some, like story, uh, role too. Yeah. He's not just like a com comedy relief character. No, yeah, that he adds to the plot. Yep. But. Okay, and. And their other, yeah, their other friend, well, his other friend is Aiko, who is dating Miyokichi. However, she is dating him to get to Shin, because she actually likes Shin. Well, yeah, like, what happened is when uh, he introduced Aiko to Miyokichi, he said, like, oh, you guys get along well, you should date, and they did, but Aiko actually likes Shinichiro, so, but that's something she's kept hiding because she's going out with Mio Kichi. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, so we go in and they're just in high school and on a day he runs into Noe on his, I think, lunch or possibly on yeah, his... Yeah, he's like on a, he's like outside, he's wandering like on campus and he sees Noe in a tree and Noe is stuck in the tree so she jumps down and lands on him and then they go over and they see, like, the chicken roost, like, the school, like, chickens or whatever that she takes care of. Yeah. And, you know, she's a little eccentric, so yeah. she, like, named the chickens and she has, like, this thing about this chicken can fly, this chicken cannot, and everything like that. And, yeah, yeah. yeah that's she... that. And then Shinichiro says something to the effect of, like, well, they're just dumb birds, and it's like, oh, you're kind of a bird brain. And uh, she gets, she doesn't like that, so she puts a curse on him, apparently. And she has she a reputation they, in school. Yeah, yeah, she says, she has a reputation for being, like, an eccentric, kind of weird girl. But they, so, they actually believed in the curse, because I believe someone else they cursed earlier at, like, she, at one point something that she happened not big but I they think, so they no believe. i think that's just miyokichi who explains it to him uh, like miyokichi's like up to date with the rumors and stuff and yeah. like it's like oh dude it's a serious curse or whatever and so he shinichiro goes back out to find noe and he makes this like he takes like a tissue box and he makes like this chicken kind of uh not sculpture but like he carves out a chick uh, tissue box to look like a chicken Kind of like an artistic piece, and he gives it to her, and she yeah. is pleased with that, and so they kind of they become kind of friends. become friendly, yeah. And it goes on from them becoming friends, just into slight, eventually a romantic relationship. 
Uh, yeah, so what happens is it's pretty slow because what happens is she ends up, she tells him, like, I will help you fly. Like, that's her thing. And her thing is, like, I want to collect the tears of worthy person. Which yeah. sounds kind of barbaric, but it's kind of, like, She's, sentimental. She <laughs> hasn't cried since her grandma died. So yeah, and she, she believes the only way to, like, cry again is to have, take someone else's tears, but she like, good quality tears, so she says to him, like, I will make you cry. Yeah, she chooses She chooses him. Yeah, so she's like chooses him for like her little pet project kind of thing, and she treats him like a chicken in the beginning when she does not. Yeah. He she scatters around like the berries that chickens usually eat around the school. Oh yeah, she keeps putting them in his pockets and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does not like that. Oh yeah. Funny little bit. So yeah, they spend time together, and there's all stuff going on at the same time with Hiromi, because Hiromi apparently. Like she needs to, but she's always very cold distant to him because she's kind of shut herself off. Like because she of believes, the mom. like she's unwanted and everything. Kind of just not. I guess not self confidence, but like she's kind of just in a weird mental state like that. She just tries but eventually, to like stuff in the happens. Background. Like she, she, it's kind of like the classic thing. Like he starts getting closer to Noe, so he don't. starts trying more things, and like. No one notices that, and eventually she decides to like go out with him, and then it, it kind of like goes back and forth. And there's also a thing with Noe's brother, yeah. which is basically what happens is uh, she needs to know, mistakenly thinks that Hiromi likes Noe's brother, who's like a basketball player on, I think, a different school. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rival. She's, she makes huge mistakes just because she says it to him as a like a lie. Or something like to cover up for something and so he decides like since he when he meets her the her brother noah's brother uh he's like noah's brother's like i want you to go out with noah and in, a ch- in exchange i'll go out with her so there's this kind of like fake relationship going on and like hiromi actually doesn't actually like this because obviously she doesn't actually like it. and I... so yeah there's like back and forth while noah and shinichiro are going out and and Hiromi Noe's, and Noe's brother, brother are fake going out. Yeah. doesn't like Hiromi. He is in love with his sister. Uh, yeah, he's just doing it to make Noe happy. Yeah, he he's he he later admits it, but he is in love with his sister. And that I think Hiromi trying to tell that slightly. She knew something was off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like a you know it's a decent like romantic drama kind of thing, like, you know. Good uh, I, 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 oh, oh! I thought you were talking about that specific situation. I was going to say that wasn't re- that. I wouldn't say that part is decent, but yeah. I mean the whole like the whole thing like how you know how like yeah. Really, it, at first they're like indifferent, but so certain things happen. Like he gets closer to like tries more things. Like comes out of her shell, and yeah, they fight, and then like they kind of start to understand each other better. So stuff like that. Like it's a character based yeah. drama. Yeah, it's not really plot based as much so much as character development. But yeah, later on, Hiromi and Shin get a lot closer, and he realizes that although he still has feelings towards Noe, that he cares more about Hiromi, and she's who he wants to be with. Yeah, so he breaks it off with Noe, and but he be- Hiromi. but not in a good way. He kind of just avoids her until yeah, he starts avoiding her because he's not sure and. Stops. And then there's the thing like where Noe, I, th- I don't remember if this was after she got down for a book, but like she went up to a tree and tried to uh, fly. That's that's book. after, yeah, that's after, yeah, yeah after. That's after. And then she landed in the snow and she just broke her leg or something. Yeah, she tried to basically kill herself after she saw Hiromi and Shin together at a festival, and Hiromi mm-hmm. asked her to back, basically Noe to back off and. That resulted in Noe jumping off a really tall tall tree and breaking some bones. Yeah, so after, you know, basically a lot of drama and stuff like that, eventually Shin ends up with, Shinichiro ends up with Hiromi and Noe does not end up with anybody. Also, oh yeah, yeah, I completely completely missed Miyokichi and Aiko. Yeah, they, she eventually explains about 
that she was with him for Shin, but they decide to try again, but start off as just friends. And no, then... like, I didn't even mention the part where, okay, so basically what happens with Aiko is that Aiko, you know, actually likes Shin, so, uh, eventually, so Aiko tries trying to get close to him, like, subtle, like, they go out shopping together, and he sees, he remarks, like, oh, that sweater looks nice, and then she, like, secretly buys it because of that, and stuff like that, and she purposely didn't tell Miyokichi like she was going shopping with him just to be alone with him yeah and so stuff like that happens and eventually like she tells Shinichiro who doesn't really know how to react and like you know because it's his friend's girlfriend and stuff like that so there's like drama and there's especially between Miyokichi and Aiko and eventually like Aiko tries to break it off but Miyokichi is kind of like, want, wants to stay in the relationship so eventually they kind of Eventually, they go back to being kind of friends with maybe possibility of rekindling. You know, she kind of tries to move on. But that's like the sub story with them. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna, like, that's probably enough synopsis because I'm getting really like, that's fucking pretty tired. much the whole show, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, one very important note is the opening song for this anime is incredible. I usually get bored after like 10 episodes, but the entire 25 episodes. Uh, we watched. We didn't skip the title sequence because the songs are so fucking catchy and good. So. Yeah, I would say also about the music. Like the music is something you'll stand out. Like notice this anime as oh, it's, the intro song is good, but like like the rest of it, it's kind of drama ish music. Like you know, you get the the violins or something, or yeah. the, the the strings playing when it's like tension and stuff like that. And you got the nice, like, casual music, too. Like, overall, it's pretty decent. I'm not much of an expert on that kind of stuff, but I liked it. Yeah. Overall, what would you give out of 10? Um, I really like this kind of anime where it's on, like, characters and character development rather than plot. So, like, in this whole show, there really wasn't much, like, plot. There weren't, like, big events that were happening to the characters. Like, like you know how on some shows it's like, oh... <laughs> like family crisis or the school bully comes after them or you know whatever happens right there's like someone after them or they've got some debt to pay there's really none of that here which i think is interesting it was just all straight up drama and i think they did it well so i think overall it was pretty good yeah i would definitely i would say eight out of ten or maybe eight and a half i, I really enjoyed it i yeah i, I would say eight out of eight out of ten as well yeah I would have given higher, but because of personal preference, I was kind of annoyed that he ended up with Hiromi, but that's probably a good sign of a good show if it made me kind of upset and annoyed that he yeah. ended up with the girl. And I could have easily see it, I, you could easily see it as almost a visual novel, but it wasn't, but you could have seen just, there's a lot of branching paths that could have happened. Yeah, obviously one thing that happens in air and anime is the main character never chooses anybody. And I think in this one it is important because there were two girls. Actually, no, there were three girls. So it's kind of like a harem, but like it really wasn't. Like, because he was never with any of them, all of them at the same time. And it was never like that. And he only really liked Hiromi and kind of no way. Like, it was kind of like it, it kind of felt realistic. In that. Yeah. Like, it didn't feel like made up, you know, like typical stuff. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you, Truebots, again. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.